Hey guys, Rob from the Off Grid Tiny House. This is just outside the tiny house door. Major flooding last night. Now, guys, this entire section was flooded to about there, okay? So, their mulch and stuff kind of dammed it. And I'm gonna walk over to the sewer that was kind of exploding and bubbling and whatever. Oh, this is quite wet over here. But there is a, some type of storm sewer right here. You can hear it. This was underwater last night. If the camera can focus someday. And this thing was blowing like geysers out. Couldn't capture it on camera, really. Because during the torrential downpours, didn't want to risk it. But you can hear it, the water is just simply pouring in there. It's crazy. So, I'm gonna go inside and see how the tiny house made out. Hey guys, it's 7 a.m. in the off-grid tiny house. Just got back inside from showing you that water outside there. And the tiny house got down to 11.24 volts because I was watching TV late into the night. And the reason for that being a <laughs> torrential downpours all night makes it pretty hard for Rob to sleep. And I gotta go to a job here at 11.30. So I'm gonna maybe get a nap. I don't know. We'll find we'll find out. But let's see how much water we cut. I was giving you updates all night. And boy oh boy. Looks like Okay. One hundred gallons on the money. Look at that. Hundred gallons overnight. Which is basically half the tank. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So no leakage. We're all good here. Everything's good. So lots of water here at the off grid tiny house. Wow. Craziness. So I'm going to kill these lights. Let my batteries recover slowly. And I'm going to set my alarm on my cell phone or assume my cell phone has an alarm system because I need some sleepy badly. So there you go guys. What a night wild wild stuff there's gonna be um, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be massive crop loss after last night um, because that rain was just beating down for the majority of the night would have just I gotta check my plants in the garden at home because yeah and then apparently we're supposed to have this type of rain for the rest of the week and I don't know what to do about the garden and the plants, really. Because they got absolutely drenched tonight. Or last night, I should say. And not a good thing. Not a good thing at all. One good thing. Tiny house high and dry. And we're capturing tons of water. 100 gallons in over one overnight period. Wowzers. Pretty amazing, guys. So, I'm going to fiddle with my phone, see if there's an alarm system on there, because I've never had to program it to do such, and get me up in a few hours. All right. See ya.